Hello, I'm Dr. Donald Cutlip, Director of the Cardiac Catheterization Laboratory in the Cardiovascular Institute at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. While heart disease remains a significant health concern, we have witnessed tremendous advances in the field of interventional cardiology that make the outlook for heart and vascular patients more promising than ever before. Our all-digital cardiac catheterization lab provides patients with faster, safer procedures and the best possible diagnostic imaging. Our clinical expertise allows us to determine the most appropriate intervention for a given patient. Patients are generally referred from outside facilities, um, from our own clinics, um, from referring physicians that have used our lab for many years. So they may be transferred from another facility. We transfer from all over New England to this facility. Um, they come by rescue, they come by ambulance, they come in, in many different ways. My doctor suspected a heart problem. Uh, I went started in October with my primary and finally had surgery in January. If you come in as a elective patient to the lab, we have a very dynamic scheduling department. Hi Mr. Page, this is Toby. I'm calling from Beth Israel Deaconess. Our scheduling RNs, our scheduling coordinators will call you. They'll go over your medical history with you. They'll take a lot of time, usually between a half an hour and 45 minutes with you. They'll want to know what medications you're on and how you take those medications. And they'll verify that against the information we have in our system. They'll ask you a lot of questions about your past history and they'll walk you through the instructions of what you need to do. I want to just explain to you everything that's going to happen while you're here at the hospital and then I'm going to give you some instructions and we're going to go over your medications. She'll call your doctor's office, she'll call other hospitals, she'll gather up all your testing ahead of time and she'll make a packet for you, register you in our system so that you're already pre-registered when you get here. And that saves you a trip to admitting office, you'll come right up to us. You'll have a band applied to your wrist, and um, Mr. Fong will let the girls know in the back that you're here. Have a seat, and we'll come and get you shortly, okay? Okay. You'll have a seat in our waiting area, and we'll bring you in about 45 minutes before the start of your procedure. Although people feel that they have an appointment, we can't run an appointment schedule. And the girls will tell you that. They'll tell you that you're here for a certain time, However, our procedures sometimes take between 30 minutes and sometimes two hours. So it's very important that you know that we will get you in as soon as possible, but we do not run on a precise schedule. The check-in procedure was fast and orderly. I was admitted to a cubicle. And as I say, the prepping procedure, everything was very smooth. We'll put a peripheral IV in. We will take an EKG. They will check your name, your date of birth, and the spelling of your last name again. They'll make sure that you don't have any allergies that we're unaware of. They'll take a brief history and explain the procedure to you. At each one of these points, this is called a handoff. And every time we do a handoff, there has to be this verification. All right, let's stop and do a time out. We have to make sure that we have the right patient with the right name and the right birth date and that you are here for the right procedure. We're very careful about this. Most people that come to us are very nervous, even though we do our best to prepare you ahead of time. This is normal. There is a lot of equipment. There is a big x-ray table with a big x-ray tube and monitors for your heart, for your blood pressure, for your respirations. There's equipment all around the room, and we know this is intimidating to you. We will do our best to make you feel comfortable. When we get you into the room, we will use what we call moderate sedation to help you relax. But it's very important that you are awake during your procedure. You should be relaxed, you should be comfortable, you should not be apprehensive. I really was just comfortable laying there. I think I might have had uh, some kind of a um, calming needle before because I was just mellow. You'll feel pushing and you'll feel some pressure as the doctor inserts the tube into either the top of your leg or into your wrist. It's not an uncomfortable feeling, but it is a strong sensation. If you're uncomfortable at all, you should let the nurse know and the doctor know. They can always give you more numbing medication or they could give you some more sedation. Everybody was very comforting and kind, and yes, the surgeon did explain what he was going to do. And 
they chatted all through the operation and it was a piece of cake. Most people will not feel the catheter being threaded up. What you may feel is a flush feeling as the contrast or the IV dye, as some people call it, is injected into your coronary arteries. It gives you two strange sensations. First, you'll feel hot and flushed from head to toe, and then you may feel as though you're wetting the bed. This is just a sensation, and it will pass. Very good. Be great. Once the procedure is over, he will tell you the results right there in the room. He'll tell you if they need to proceed to fix any blockages that they found, or whether or not your coronaries need a different approach. It could be that you need surgery, or it could be that you're just fine, and we're going to send you home with some medication. With the radial approach, at the end of the procedure, the doctor will remove the small tube from your wrist and apply an inflatable band. That band will stay in place for two hours. We'll remove the band, you'll walk around, and we'll discharge you, usually within three or four hours of your procedure. If the doctor uses a femoral approach, the time can vary between two hours and six hours. They were just wonderful. Every nurse that came in was wonderful. The doctors came on their rounds and they were, they were great. Whether it's a coronary stent placement or a complex conventional angioplasty, our goal is the same. The best outcome for you and the thousands of other patients that we treat each year.